Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. Um, I'll try and move this video on. I don't want this to go on too long and be accused of waffling, which is what I generally do. Um, yeah, I, I've been sort of having a resurrection here of the Alinco DX SR8. I've not used this radio for a while. And uh, recently, I sort of got, got, them off, got it out of mothballs. And uh, I've been touching up the sort of controls with some model paint, which I know a few people have been interested in. And I've also finally got round to fitting a inline fuse holder in the power lead because the radio come without any fuses and I was a bit uncomfortable using it that way and it's something I've been putting off. So I put in a uh, fuse holder. Now I did make videos or video on that and I haven't put it up on this channel, Fred in the Shed 1. I put that on my sister channel, Fred in the Shed 2. So I'll leave a link at the end of that video and I'll leave a link to Fred in the Shed 2 in the description. If you've not seen my second channel, it's well worth a look. I've been putting up quite a lot of different sort of content on there in 2019. There's radio stuff on there as well. But uh, yeah, quite a varied sort of amount of content. So, you know, go over there, please take a look. It's a very small channel. I've only got a few hundred subscribers. So if you, if you like what you see, um, you know, I'd appreciate a sub uh, very much actually because say, I, I do appreciate everyone I get over there. Anyway, enough about that. That's Fred in the Shed 2. Right, so back to the year ago, well over a year ago, there was one of these sort of Black Friday deals came up and uh, certain radio components, just components from a supplier became discounted and microphones were discounted. And I went on there and uh, microphones were discounted at 35%, which was quite good. But unfortunately, this, this dynamic microphone, the EMS-64, was not in the cell. But its sister, the EMS-53, which is a uh, electric, electric condenser microphone, that was in the cell at 35% off, and also it was a little bit cheaper than the uh, 64 to start with. So it was pretty much just about half the price. So I bought that in with the idea that I would sort of uh, test to see whether this was the microphone causing that screeching noise. And uh, yeah, it came in a proper box and everything, you know, so I'm uh, quite pleased with that. And then I put it in a cupboard and completely forgot about it for, well, just until last week. <laughs> completely forgot. So anyway, so in this video, what I, what I want to do is obviously test to see if I, I can sort of lose this little bleep or screech noise. But the main thing is I'm just kind of interested the difference between a dynamic microphone and a condenser microphone. And I'm, I'm kind of going to do some testing. I'll test myself up on the uh, Yaesu 450 to see if I can hear any difference when I play the uh, recording back. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll go on to the uh, 305 group and I know it's really, really busy at the moment, but I'll try and see if I can sort do a test with the guys. Um, I might maybe shoot QSY to another channel or something. And uh, yeah, maybe just start, I'll swap between microphones and just see if anyone can sort of tell the difference. Now, it's always really, really controversial when you get a sort of a, a microphone check. Some people like different sort of microphones which uh, maybe sort of work on the higher sort of treble side. Some people like sort of bassy kind of like sort of plummy BBC type audios. Um, I think the main thing if you ask for a mic check is that as long as the person can hear you and you know you're clear and it doesn't sound like your head's in a box or it doesn't sound like your head's you know you're talking through a sock as long as you're clear and people can hear you I think that's the main thing people will have objective opinions whether they prefer you know what sound or the other so it's always a little bit uh, controversial but that's what I'm going to sort of try and do but I so say I'm going to start off and sort of you know test myself and we'll just see is there any difference between a condenser microphone and uh, you know a dynamic I don't know but uh, let's find out. So I think how I'm going to do this test, I was thinking of going onto the 305 net and trying to get some sort of mic checks, rig checks if you like, but you know that's controversial, people prefer different sort of sounds of voice, some people like a bassy sound, some people prefer you know a much sort of higher sort of frequency sound, so I think I'll do it myself, I think I'll simply just transmit into the Yaesu 450 and yeah. And then that way I can at least have a little bit of control. And, you know, we, we can see what it sounds like. You can sort of, like, tell me in the comments what you think. I mean, personally, I normally prefer a dynamic microphone. I think it sort of uh, picks up less background noise. The uh, condensers can be a little bit oversensitive. So they can also um, seem to get more splatter as well when you talk directly into the microphone. So, anyway, I'm going to set it up. That's what we're going to do. Gonna, and I'll just go upstairs now and uh, we'll set up the, uh, set up the Yaesu and get some testing done. Okay, so here we are in the shack with the Yaesu 450. Just going to transmit to the Yaesu, Yaesu 450. Uh, first we'll try on FM with the two microphones and then we'll go over to sort of sideband and uh, just see if they sound uh, any different. Okay, 
Hi, this is my normal speaking voice on the Alinka using the EMS 64, the dynamic microphone. So, one, two, three, four, Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And now changed to the EMS 53, now on the condenser microphone. Speaking in my normal voice at the same distance for the mic, Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I've listened to the tests as uh, you guys had, and I, I don't know. I mean, on FM, I think the dynamic microphone was that a little bit more smoother. I think the the condenser sounded a little bit sort of scratchy, to be honest. Uh, it didn't quite carry it on FM, so definitely, I think the dynamic, in my opinion, was better. But uh, on sideband, I, I couldn't. It was too close to call. I think both mics did sort of pretty well. And I th maybe the condenser was just that little bit sharper, had that sort of edge, was a little bit clearer. Um, I don't know. What do you reckon? You've listened to the clips. Let me know in the comments. You know, do you think the dynamic or uh, or condenser? But I say not much in it on sideband at all. But FM, yeah, this this was sounding a little bit sort of scratchy. Which um, I did use this the other day and spoke to Awesome Dave, and he said it was sounding a little bit scratchy as well. So there you go, condenser, or, I mean a condenser microphone is just generally cheaper anyway than the uh, sort of dynamic. But uh, yeah, there you go, well the sort of jury's out. You'd let me know what you think in the sort of comments and uh, I think I'm going to try both sort of microphones and sort of see what reports I get when I use them live on the radio. So that's it, just a sort of quick video. Um, cheers, as always, thanks for watching. Your view time is really, really appreciated. I'm a very small channel, don't get that many views. So <laughs> I appreciate everyone. So cheers, thanks for tuning in. As always, look after yourselves, stay safe, and yeah, I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers, everyone.